So I started my career as a physiotherapist and I did my degree in the late uh, 60s and then I went on to do a PhD in the late 80s. My PhD looked at what happens to your muscles when you're working them in exercise in which gravity is not involved. I learned that when you don't have gravity involved in your exercises, you're using a completely different set of muscles than if you were work walking around in gravity. Creating these deep anti-gravity postural muscles here with the... After years of research on joint stability and the core muscles, we got our very big break when we were asked to join the European Space Agency research on the effects of weightlessness on the body. By establishing the link between the core, the anti-gravity muscles and gravity, the gravity fitness concept was born. I'm 46 and I was just reflecting the other day about how long I've had back pain and my first recollection is um, going to the football every week and standing in the outer as you did back then and um, constantly shuffling from one foot to the other, bending forward, not seeming to get any relief. Time moves on and um, I ended up as a teacher and you're on your feet all day and the only time I got any relief is when I went home and lay down. So I tried everything that I could possibly try. Typical woman, I've tried every diet, I've tried every exercise regime. Um, I used to go to a one-on-one -on -one class with Pilates. Um, I've been to a chiropractor's, or two chiropractors, I've been to physiotherapists. I used to have two massages a week and whilst I'd get some short-term relief for my back, nothing seemed to actually work long-term. I've been in the fitness industry for about 35 years now. Uh, I teach at Sunshine Coast TAFE. Uh, my specialties at Sunshine Coast TAFE are strength and conditioning. I teach Pilates. I teach musculoskeletal rehab. Uh, I've been doing that for about 12 years now, full time. Nice shape, S shape through your spine here. So we should have. If we don't use our anti gravity muscles, we tend to lose our posture. Our posture either goes into a forward curve, into a C curve, or a backward curve, into a C curve. That puts extra stress on all of our big muscles, the muscles that move us. So those very small muscles through our core are the ones that we need to be able to work well so we don't overuse our big muscles. Uh, since I've been in Australia, I've been working in orthopaedic clinical practice and um, I specialise mainly in the lower limb and in particular the knee. Uh, because I most commonly treat the knee, I have always focused on stabilising exercises because with the knee you can't run or jump or hop or perform any dynamic activity until you have a stable knee. But with regard to the spine and other parts of the body and I think now particularly of the scapula, we haven't been so aware that in order to perform peripherally well, we need good core stability. Dr. Carolyn Richardson's work has, has really changed the way that we look at exercise. Prior to this, and especially at a high performance level, we've thought of exercise as mainly being something that activates the big mobilising muscles, that creates the movement. What we now realise from her work is that this provides the base, this is the stability of which all those big muscles have to operate. I developed a belt, a very low, very low tech belt, but it allows people to get the feel of the right feel of their core so that they progress their exercises and ensure themselves, they don't have to have anyone to check them, they ensure themselves that they are still working that core. When we strengthen the anti-gravity muscle system, we're, we're teaching those muscles how to be used in a way they were designed to be used 
and at the same time it allows the movement muscles to produce the fo proper forces and allow them to do the job they were supposed to do. What excites me about this research is it becomes the, the link that we've looked for for so long. A lot of the research from guys like Andre Vleming who have shown us that the muscles have to operate as a chain, as a link, uh, Tom Myers with the myofascial trains, but no, neither of them have included gravity. Neither of them looked at how gravity affects this. And Dr. Carolyn Richardson's work has done this. It's brought this research together. It's shown this gravity is, is the, the critical, it is the key component that makes the muscles work as a unit rather than individual muscles. The myofascial trains working together, very, very important. Gravity fit, I think, has reignited the awareness that we should be using our postural core muscles much more than we are. By providing strong muscle support to the joints, we are able to prevent injury. Very important for the athlete. Second thing is that by having a good central core when we play sport, we free the more peripheral limb muscles to actually perform at their peak. That's what athletes really want. And thirdly, by using Carolyn's techniques, especially her cap, she has enabled us and taught us how we can create a stable axis while we're playing sport. And this is vital because it facilitates that rotation that every sportsman needs for almost every sport. So what we know now from Dr. Carolyn is it's the gravity that stimulates the anti-gravity muscles to be, to be able to maintain a, to, or to activate the muscles to maintain a good posture and a neutral position. The anti-gravity system is so important in all movement but we're noticing it very heavily in the area of high performance. Up till now what we've done is the gym especially has been an area where we've gone in and we've trained the big mobilising muscles, the pecs, the lat, lats, the deltoids, the glutes, the quads. What we now realise is all of these hinge off the anti-gravity muscles. They have to be, have a strong base to operate, and if they don't have that strong base provided by the anti-gravity, then really they're not as efficient as they should be. Everything we seem to do today encourages our anti-gravity muscles to switch off. We're either sitting in a car, whereas once upon a time we used to walk, we're sitting at a desk. Um, even a lot of the exercise programs that we do encourage our big movement muscles to work and therefore switching off the anti-gravity muscles. And so it's this program that actually encourages the use of those muscles and strengthening those muscles. I guess going back to what we used to do, what our ancestors used to do before we got all the modern trappings that we have today, which actually encourages our body to say, well, you don't need to use this muscle because what you're doing doesn't require that. We wouldn't need gravity fitness if we lived 50 years ago, because people were lifting, they were sitting rarely, they were working hard physically, and the anti-gravity system was being kept healthy. It seems so simple and so small in terms of what you do and often feels quite awkward that you, you can't imagine how it could possibly work. Um, you feel like you should be jumping around the room and doing all sorts of bends and twists and things like that to get some sort of uh, result. But these are really simple. But it's amazing how you notice how quickly you actually fatigue from doing such simple movements. Dr Carolyn Richardson's work in gravity fit exercises has given us a new perspective. It's different to where we've been in the past. It's told us that we have to do exercises in the standing position. We have to combine those exercises to create upper and lower body movement, but it all hinges on the fact that we're doing it standing and we're maximising the effect of gravity. What we need to teach people to do, whether they are doing Pilates or they want to do weight lifting in the gym or exercise classes in the gym, is that they must ensure, first of all, that their anti-gravity muscle system is working and that they're not in danger of sustaining an injury. And therefore, gravity fitness is done prior to you starting to do any other higher level exercise program, Pilates, strength and conditioning, 
even step classes in the gym, all those you need first of all to have the stable base of Gravity Fitness.